Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel and thank you for clicking on another video. My name is Anastasia and today I'm going to be doing a summer inspired peach look. I really hope that you enjoy this look and I'm going to walk you through step by step on how I created it. First I'm starting off with my No Pore Blum Prime Essence and I'm just smoothing this into my face and neck. Now I'm taking my Tarte Smoothing Primer and I first apply it to my cheeks, allow it to sit there and kind of warm up a little bit. It's easier to smooth on when it's a little bit warm. And I'm just using my finger to blend this into the skin and smooth out the areas that have larger pores and fine lines and wrinkles. I also like to put this under the eyes to help prep for the concealer. Now I'm taking my Huda Beauty foundation and I'm applying this all over the face with a small flat kabuki brush. To contour, I'm going to use my Julep Complexion Correction concealer in the shade clove and I'm just carving out all of the areas that I want to be warmed up. Now with this product I will say it was a little bit dry and it was a little bit harder to blend out so my suggestion would be to apply a little bit of setting spray to your brush just to dampen it a little bit also to blend it out as soon as possible don't let this sit on your face at all um, as you can see i applied it to the contour areas and i also went around my lips to enhance the size now i'm taking my elf camo concealer and i'm just applying two little dots under the eyes and blending this out with my beauty blender i'm also going to use another concealer on top of this so it doesn't need to be full full coverage yet I'm using the Age Rewind now, which is a thinner formula in the shade Neutral. I really have been loving this concealer. I think it goes on beautifully and it gives great coverage. And here I'm just building it up and blending it out. Now I'm going to take my Makeup Revolution setting powder in the shade Banana Light. And I'm using my Beauty Blender to bake underneath the eyes and I'm going to carve out the detailed areas that I would like highlighted. To powder contour, I'm going to take my Wet n Wild contour palette and I'm taking the shade Dulce de Leche and I'm just going to set the areas that I would like to be contoured and deeper. Now I'm taking the e.l.f. Camo Concealer again and I'm using this as my eye primer. So as you can see, I just applied a little bit and now I'm blending it out with my Beauty Blender. To fill in my brows, I'm using a black matte shadow. You can use any eyeshadow or a brow pencil, whatever brow products you love using. This is just from the Misunderstood palette from ColourPop because the palette I'm using to create my peachy eye look does not have a black shade in it. So I'm just taking a flat angled brush and I'm going along my natural hairline and just making sure that the edges are nice and blended and crisp. I'm using the Sweet Talk palette from ColourPop today and I'm taking the shade side to side at first and just doing a slight highlight under the brow. Now I'm taking the shade Catch Me which is a very very soft baby pink and I'm using this to just kind of set the concealer down. Now I'm going to take the shade Dream Maker and I'm going to apply this on top of that transition shade blending the two together. Because I put that Catch Me color down first it helps me to soften the edges and blend it out a lot better. Now I'm going to take the shade Meadow and I'm just going to repeat the step that I just did, but I'm going to do it a little bit lower and closer to the crease line. I always start my colors on the outer corner and just build it up and swipe it in so that way the heaviest color is on the outer corner where I want the most depth anyway. Now I'm going to grab the shade Icy Me and I'm going to really focus that on the outer corner and slightly incorporate that toward the inner lid. Just really creating some depth here and bringing out that nice vibrant peachy tone. Mm -hmm. 
Now I'm grabbing the shade Feel Free, which is a corally brown color, and I'm just using this again to create more depth and smokiness to the eye. With these peachy tones, it's kind of difficult. If I were to take a black, it would just muddy up the color. So I really love that they incorporated this deep, rich brown. Now I'm taking the color Garden Date, which is a beautiful shimmery coral, and I'm just using my finger to apply this to the center lid. I really loved this color. You'll notice me here going back and forth between eyes and trying to build up that color. I did notice a little bit of patchiness. You can't really see it on camera here, but I did notice some patchiness when I incorporated the Feel Free color, which is unfortunate because I really liked how this look was coming together. I did end up liking the final product, but I just think that this color could have been a lot better in quality. It was just a little bit patchy for me. Now with a detail brush, I'm grabbing the shade Melody, which is a beautiful golden coral color. And I'm just applying this to the inner corner and kind of creating a subtle cut crease look uh, just by doing a nice little line above the crease. I really loved this color too. This was super pretty. It went on nicely with the brush. I didn't have to wet the brush to get the nice shimmer payoff. It's very finely milled. The shimmer is very, very fine in this particular shadow. So it just went on really smoothly. Now with my finger, I'm grabbing the shade Prima Donna and I'm just tapping this glitter right on the inner lid. I love this glitter. It is super pretty. It has a texture to it that you can apply it without having to use a primer, which is nice. Um, so I love that color. Now I'm taking the Alme liquid liner in the shade Brown. I don't really like this product. I found that uh, over the glitter, it was very, very patchy. I had to keep going back over it um, to get the pigmentation that I wanted. And it just didn't work out well with this particular eyeshadow. Um, I was still able to get a wing, but I found that I had to go over it several times, which leaves more room for error. <laughs> so I didn't really care for that. I'm a one swipe type of girl. Now I'm taking my Milani liner in black and I'm just lining the waterline and really making it nice and crisp. And I'm just smoothing out the edges that went over the waterline just with a detail brush. Now I'm grabbing the shade Dream Maker and I'm applying this on the lower lash line and just diffusing that out. Now I'm taking my Salon Perfect Wispies. This is the first time I think I've used this brand. I just thought they were really pretty and the band was super thin. And that's something that I like because it helps you to really get it close up to your natural lashes and also blend your natural lashes in without noticing the band too much. Now just brushing away fallout and I'm going to grab my Wet n Wild again and just contour over the cheeks and around the face and also carving out my nose here with a contour brush from Morphe. And then I'm gonna take my Beauty Blender and just press all the powders into the skin and also blend out any harsh lines that I notice. Now just going over with a brush again, I'm going to grab my Milani Rose Blush in the shade Blossom Time Rose. And I'm just going to start to build this color up. This is a very subtle blush, so you do have to do multiple layers to build up the opacity. Now I'm taking my Jeffree Star and Peach Goddess Highlighter and I'm applying this to the highlight areas, which are my cheekbones, down the bridge of the nose, the cupid's bow, and a little bit on the forehead. Now I'm grabbing my Victoria's Secret Lip Crayon and I am just applying this like a lip liner and just smoothing it out. This is a very creamy matte formula. I really like this. Grabbing my Dominique Cosmetics Lip Gloss in the shade Lemonade and I'm applying this as a topper to the lips. And now I'm grabbing my Lash Paradise and just blending my natural lashes in with the falsies. I love this mascara. It's definitely one of my favorites. Now I'm grabbing my ColourPop in the shade Verbatim and just really highlighting the center of the lips. This gives the lips more of a full appearance. Now just taking a little highlight and applying this to the inner corner and this does complete the look. So I thought this would be a fun, fresh look for the summer. I love the peachy tones to it and I really love how this look came out. 
If you enjoyed watching this, please give this video a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe and I will see you on the next one. Thanks again. Bye.